Hi everyone, just doing a quick Q and A here now, just so you can get to know us better, and so everyone can just understand what we're like. So we're going through uh, a website just to find a couple of questions, and we're gonna answer them as best as we can. So, what's an ideal weekend for you? Um, I don't know, walking my dogs or something. Um, my ideal weekend is probably just being lazy, watching Netflix, or going out to the movies. Something like that. Alright, next question. If a genie granted you free wishes, right now, what would you wish for? Um, <laughs> that's a bit of a hard question. Um, ow. Sorry. <laughs> um... I don't actually know, to be honest. Like, people would leave me alone or something. I don't know. Like, my past would just disappear. Like, I don't want my past anymore. Yeah, I'll probably ask for um, being able to never fall ill. So, always healthy. Mm, I don't think of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would also ask for... I, I know it's cliche, but never-ending money. Um, <laughs> you got, you got to have that. And... I would also um, wish for pretty much like there to be no cancer in the world, like because that's like one of the biggest killers, isn't it? So you don't want that in the world right now. If you had one day left to live on Earth, what would you do? Hang out with you and my dogs. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really. I know I've got my family in there, but. Yeah, I've dealt with them long enough. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll want to spend the day with you, but us just going around doing random shit. Random stuff. Random stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Which animal do you think is your spirit animal? Most people say it's a wolf. Even though my favourite animal is a shit panda, but my spirit animal is more a wolf. My, my, I think mine's a shark because you know shark head. <laughs> well, mine's actually like wolf because everyone says like a pack leader or more of a the adult of everyone. <laughs> true, true. What is the craziest job you would consider taking? Craziest job. Yeah. I don't actually know that one. Like, well, uh, what class is a crazy job? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i think the craziest thing that i would want to be is um it's actually just um mountain rescue person where you have to literally climb off a mountain to rescue someone yeah but i don't think that's crazy well i don't know what you do yeah skydive teacher yeah where you're jumping out of a plane yeah, but once you know how to do it, it's not really crazy. No, no job is actually crazy. If you know how to do it, it's not crazy. True. Like to other all... people, no, to other people who don't do it, they'll see it crazy. But the second yeah. you do it, it's not crazy. It's true. All right. Next question: If you had one million dollars or pounds, because we're British, in one day, oh, sorry, if you had to spend one million dollars in one day, what would you buy? Probably a house or something, I don't know. You could do that. I'll probably buy a house and a car. Yeah, but I want to quit. You need to quit out of the house, so. No, not if you buy like a readily furnished house. <laughs> thing in there, it? Are you still in touch with your childhood friends? Sort of. I'm not, no. Well, you think I've only recently got back in touch with someone? That's true. Hi, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> yeah. What is the most expensive thing you have ever bought? Most expensive thing I've ever bought? Yeah. Um, probably an iPhone. I don't really buy anything else. I normally get it. Um, yeah, mine's, mine's my car. 
Well, you technically didn't buy that. Well, technically I did, because I sold my other one. Yeah, but you didn't buy it. Te te no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what did you buy, not your family? Well, literally, if I would have sold that car to them, they would have given me the money, so they just got out of the middleman of getting the car. So technically I still bought it, because they got that car. Yeah, but you didn't buy it. Yeah, I did. Just shut up. What have you bought out of your own pocket? Of your own money? Like. Fine, the PlayStation! <laughs> <laughs> um, which animal would you like to ride on at least once in your life? Well, you think that you can only ride a horse or a bull? I'd like to ride a camel. I forgot about camel and donkeys. I forgot about them. I would um, really like to ride a camel. I don't know why. I rode a donkey, I rode a horse, um, I've never rode a bull, and I think I've rode a camel, so the only one I've got left is a bull, or a camel, but I can't remember if I've actually rode a camel. I'd never ride a bull, never, in a million years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit of a reckless person, I guess. Yeah. Alright, another question, yeah, what is the one job that you would never do even for a million dollars? There's not really much I want to do. I'll never go in a sewer. Mm. Never. I've had to go down a sewer to save a puppy before, so... No, but I, I couldn't deal with it. Yeah, but I had to save the puppy, so that's the only reason why I went down there. There was going to be like half an hour to get to me, and I was like, no, this puppy ain't staying down there for half an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Would you rather have a super sight or super hearing? That's actually quite a difficult one because you rely on both for a hell of a lot. Probably my hearing. Because then at least then you can hear everything better. And if someone like say something about you behind your back or something, you can hear it. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. I would have super hearing as well. <laughs> Because you can like ear wiggins, like what someone's saying. Like, if you get sent out of the room, like in a meeting, or if you say, like, if you're in school yeah. and you get sent out, you can listen to what they're saying. Yeah. Would you rather fight King Kong or a T Rex? A T Rex? A T Rex, yeah, you stand still, he won't see you. No, do you know why I'll like fight a T Rex? Why? You little giddy owl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I'll do is link onto his neck. It's not going to get me, is it? <laughs> He's got two small arms. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather... Yeah. Stop using the internet or stop using deodorant? I don't think anyone in this day and age can live without the internet. Um, I, don't really, the I don't really use deodorant anyway. Well, so. as long as you should, like shower, bath, stuff like that, and keep yourself clean, why do you really need deodorant? I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't actually use deodorant. Fair enough. Well, my, my shower gel is like, smells really, really nice. Would you rather be unable to lie or unable to speak? Unable to lie. I unable lie to lie. Anyway, so. Yeah. Would you rather change any one decision from your past or have 40,000 free and clear? So you'll be able to go back and change <clears throat> something from your past or you get 40 grand. I probably want to go back and change one thing from my past. Yeah, but it, the only problem is if I do that, I've got so much in my past I want to change. Yeah. But then if I change one of them, then that will probably change most of my past. So, yeah, change, <laughs> change one of No, but the thing is, past. though, if you change your past, it will end up altering your future. Yeah, but if you're gonna change one thing, and I've done so like there's, if you've done so many mistakes, but I know there's one thing I can change, what will change like everything about my past. Yeah, that is true. Also, would you rather be the hero or the villain? I want to be the villain. You have to be the villain. The villains are awesome. The villains are always the ones with the better gear, like. No, I like... don't even find that. Like most films, I find the villains more funny. Well, take the Joker. You can't beat the Joker. Joker and Harley Quinn. <laughs> nah, just Joker. <laughs> Rude. Did 
This is why we argue. Yeah. Disso my Harley Quinn Hell World. Yeah, what is your idea of a perfect romantic date? I've never really been on a date. The only date I've ever been on is the Bolton Alley with you. And the cinema. Oh yeah, and the cinema. Yeah. My perfect thing of a date, or my idea, um, is probably go see a film or go bowling like we did. Probably go for a meal and then drive to like a coast or something like that and watch the sunset. Oh, I've watched the sunset, but I've only ever watched it by myself. Or, like, the only type of date I've really been on with in my whole life is sort of walking the dogs or we've got family member with us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm either with their family or they're with my family. So, yeah. Going on a date with yeah. the sunset was a bit of a complete change in my life. <laughs> what scares you the most? Can I say no comment? <laughs> okay then <laughs> what's yours well I'm scared of two things the most heights and the dark I know the dark childish but I'm petrified of it I don't like the dark um, yeah. I don't like the dark but of course I used to walk in there so but heights yeah. um well, actually no I know what my my worst fear is is my feet not being on the ground I know it sounds stupid but if my feet is not touching the floor even if I, like, I'm on a roller coaster my feet ain't on something no, I don't like it. My feet have to be touched on something. Yeah, um... Try... What is your favourite thing I have ever done for a special occasion for you? I don't really know, to be honest, like, what about you? Well, you took me to go see the new Harley Quinn movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you took me bowling and I'm not really well at bowling because it hurts. If you won the lottery tomorrow, how would you lead your life moving forward? I don't know, just everything I can sort things out. Depends on how much lottery I'm winning. That's true. Um, I don't, if I won a substantial amount, I don't think I'd really change. I just wouldn't work. If the only thing I'd change, I just wouldn't work. And we'll ask one more question, which will be... <laughs> It's like looking through. Yeah. What is your ideal climate for establishing a permanent home? That's uh, that's the last question. I don't really know. The sort of climate I prefer is warmer climate. I prefer warmer weather. Like, don't get me wrong, warm weather is nice, but. I, it can't always be warm because then I'll end up feeling really ill. No, I don't mean like too warm, like stupidly hot, like 30 degrees. I mean like just warm. <laughs> warmer than the UK. But warmer than lower soft or middle nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Alright then, well that's all we have time for. Hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, follow us on our Instagram and... We'll be putting out another video soon. Thank you.